Hello guys, Creator 438 here. Welcome to another ban list review. Uh, the ban list just came out on it just came out today on March 20th. And um this is actually a pretty cool ban list in my opinion. There's lots of uh changes made. So right off the bat, we got the four dragon rulers banned. Blaster you got uh, Redox, Tempest, and Tidal. All those guys are banned, and you're probably wondering, you know, they haven't really done anything in the game. And you're right, but they did uh, make a card. They did release a card actually on the day this balance was released. Um, I, don't, I don't know if this is going to show up in screen flow, but it's basically this new card, and it's called um, the number 95 Galaxy Eyes Dark Matter Dragon. It's a new card that was um, in the OCG for a while, and um, it came out today. Uh, for those of you who don't know what it does, um, it requires three level 9 monsters, well, rank 9 XEs, uh, it's dragon, obviously it has an effect, 4,000 attack, zero defense. Um, so it requires three level 9 monsters, but you will soon see that is relevant because so what he does is you can also exceed some of this card by using a galaxy as exceeds monster you control as an ex as the exceeds material. Exceeds materials attached to that monster also become exceeds materials on this card. So yeah, you just use like um galaxy as tachyon dragon or just like really any rank eight galaxy eyes or yeah basically. And um, he himself cannot be used as an exceeds material, but this this is what, this part of the effect is when it really it, when, when it really starts getting good. So when he is exceed summoned, you get to send three dragon type monsters with different names to your deck to the graveyard, and your opponent banishes three monsters from that deck, and that is a very powerful effect in the game. In the OCG, dragon rulers were using this card to uh, really do some OP shit, and um, that's primarily why Konami um, banned all the dragon rulers because they don't want they don't want um, basically dark matter dragon rulers essentially to become a really good deck so that's kinda why because this effect right here um, this can be activated as many times as you want per turn and if you're sending lots of dragons guess what you can do with all the dragons of the graveyard you get to special summon like pretty much almost all the dragon rulers or at least two of them and of course being a dragon this guy can um, can be banished by like Rise Dark Mouth Dragon and get three other dragons in the graveyard. Um, there's some there's some uh, videos about using this deck uh, or that like use this deck on like YouTube and stuff. So if you want to check those out, you just look like just look up like um Galaxy oh no, no like um Dark Matter Dragon Rulers or something like that. You'll probably find something and he also has an effect that reads you can attach one exclusive material from this card and he can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase this turn and that's a pretty good effect considering he has 4,000 attack. He can't attack directly so I mean but it's still good is the thing. And this deck um not uh, because like with this card not only would, would Dragon Rose be able to um get um, three of their monsters in the graveyard and like banish tons of monsters from your deck or from your opponent's deck which is also very strong in the game but it can also re OTK pretty well and that's primarily why they um, banned all the dragon rulers because the deck would be too good and then no other changes but then you see snatch steel uh, going back to zero because I, I like how they had it uh, limited for like format and just banned it again I don't know that's it's pretty wild. I mean, I definitely see the um, I definitely see why they did that. I don't even know why they unlimited the card though. Or no, not unlimited. I mean, put it to one. I don't know why they did that, but it's banned now, so no more questions. But anyways, um, a couple changes on um the limited list. Um, uh, we have Sinister Serpent who is limited. And you're probably wondering, dude, Sinister Serpent's so OP, why would they put him back at 1? Well, actually, in a more recent set, which was um, Premium Gold Return of the Bling, which was released today, um, 
Sister Serpent was re reprinted in the set with an errata. Um, he, his effect is now during your standby phase. If this card is in your graveyard, you can add it to your hand. Also, banish one Sinister Serpent from your graveyard during your opponent's next end phase. You only use this effect of Sinister Serpent once per turn. So, like, I guess if, like you discard him and he's going to banish himself. So, yeah. That effect will really only... I mean, this last part will really only work if it's in the graveyard. I'm not really sure about all the criteria of this effect. It's a little confusing to me, I think. But, yeah, but Sinister Serpent's not as powerful as he was before. Um, like, you can't add him to your hand a million times per turn anymore, so that's a uh, reason. And then, we got Tour Guide um, at 1, because, you know, Burning Abyss. Tour Guide could um, special summon every Burning Abyss monster from the deck, basically. So, well, you, you you get the point. You get the point. Every main deck Burning Abyss. So, yeah, that's why they did that. Um, they put Dragon Ravine at 1 because, you know, it's it's not going to really be that powerful anymore with the Dragon Rulers at uh, 0. And you got to keep in mind, guys, that they banned this card solely because of the dragon rulers so yeah that is why they did that so um dragoony fans eat your heart out basically anyways they also hit preparation of rights that is now limited this is because of um necros necros whatever you call them i call them necros um personally i don't like this hit because i was a big necro uh, necros player i keep calling them necros jeez I was a big Necroz player, I still am, but like, this kind of, it kind of like uh, reduces their power by a little bit, but they'll still be a pretty strong deck. Uh, they also hit Sacrifice, it's now limited, and thank you so much Konami, Sacrifice is so dumb, Klee's are also so dumb, like, oh my gosh, the deck was so, the deck is so stupid, it's like... Holy jeez, man. I've all, I fought so many Kalees, man. I fought so many um, Kalees with Necros. With Necros, I mean. And I've just lost so many times because, you know, if you get rid of their sacrifice, like, I mean, oh my gosh. Um, the thing about sacrifices, guys, um, disregard my... Um, Thing with like the Klees and the Necros and stuff like that. I, I can get to that a little later, but um, thing is like, uh, like thing the the we already have like um we've already had like Shadals and BA in the game, which were floating monsters. But if you thought those were bad enough, Sacrifice is a floating spell and trap card. I've always said, I've said a couple times actually that. Uh, floating spell or trap cards really shouldn't exist in the game because they're so dumb. Like, spell and trap cards are arguably harder to get off the field than monsters. You only have a couple ways to really deal with, um, with, um, spell or trap cards. So, but like with monsters, you can destroy them by card effects and also kill them by battle. So it's a little different in that respect, but the thing about Sacrifice is, like, it boosts Glee's attack up by 300, they cannot be destroyed by battle, and on top of that, they can be treated as two tributes, so tribute some of any Klee monster, so you can just tribute one, get disc, and like, you know, you bounce, you bounce things with like, um, carrier, uh, you can like pop spells and traps with helix, oh, sorry about that. Um, and then you get a search, um, and you all, and if you're using, like, disc, then you get special summon two cleaves from the deck. Like, this card is stupid, and, like, if you lose, if you don't have any scouts left, guess what you're going to use to search that scout? I mean, maybe summoners are as well. That is also a viable choice, but especially this. So, yeah, cleaves are definitely going to have to play a little smarter. They can't just, like, set up a field and stuff like that. And they can't just like set up those broken fields um, for reasons I'll go we'll go into in a minute 
Um, now, next card, Symbol of Heritage is limited. And um, basically what that card is, if they're what that card does is like um it's an equip spell and if there are three or more mo oh no if there are three monsters with the same name in your graveyard you can special on one of them and equip it with this card almost like premature burial but you need to have a little more setup for it and when um this card leaves the field that monster will be destroyed so yeah honestly though um it, can someone answer in the comments like why did they hit this card? Like, I can see, like, the fact that it can sort of, um, loop some, uh, like, um, oh yeah, I guess loops, maybe. But, like, nothing has really been abusing Symbol of Heritage. I can't think of anything that really, no, like, nothing's ever used this, to my knowledge. The OCG also hit this, too. I thought this was very weird. It's... I, I, I don't know, just this card going to one makes me a little confused. Maybe it's just for like, maybe it's not because like any deck in general used it. Maybe it's just because, you know, it, um, it causes like loops or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, we also got Temple of the Kings, um, to one. It was forbidden. Now you're probably wondering, dude, this card created so many OTKs. Special, uh, like in the OCG, and what we got in TCG was immediately banned. Why did they bring this card back? Well, like Sinister Serpent, this card also got an errata in um, Premium Gold Trail of Bling. By the way, uh, if you were wondering what set Galaxy as Dark Matter Dragon came out in, that was also in Premium Gold Trail of Bling. It was OCG exclusive for a little bit. But, anyways, back to Temple of the Kings. Um, this card, you used to be able to set any amount of traps and just activate them the turn they're set but now the effect is you can activate one trap card the turn it was set and um that is like really the big effect that everyone used the the one with mystical beast of circuit that's one, that one's kind of irrelevant but just in case um it says you can send one mystical beast of circuit in your monster zone and this card you control the graveyard Special on one monster from your hand or deck or one fused monster from your extra deck. I think you could summon any monster from your extra deck before, but I don't know. Um, and also it has a, um, it has a once per turn clause, so you can only use each effect of it once per turn. So, yeah, a lot of cards in the OCG got eroded, or like there was like a few that got like a few banned cards that got eroded, and like they also brought back in the OCG. So yeah. This is one of them. Also, we got Crush Card Virus, uh, which was is li now limited, and this is also one of the um, few errata banned cards, and this is probably one that's going to be used the most, like in the meta, I think, probably in like Burning Abyss and stuff like that. But anyway, what the card does now is it, you know, it's basically you tribute one Dark Monster with a thousand or less tech. And your opponent takes no damage until the end of the turn. Also, you look at your opponent's hand and all monsters they control. And if you do destroy the monsters among them with 1,500 or more attack, then your opponent can destroy up to three monsters with 1,500 or more attack in their deck. Sort of like the anime a little bit in that you can, like, um, it can destroy um, monsters in the deck. But, like, your opponent gets to choose if they want to do that. So, like, if they're playing Shadals, they can... Um, they can kind of do that, but, I don't know, Shadals aren't really doing too well compared to the other decks, like Necros, Cleese, BA. Um, so yeah. It's kind of deal with Crush Card Virus. I see Burning Abyss making the most use of the card. So, yeah, if you're into that, then there you go. Um, uh, it used to, um... Crush Card Virus used to check cards that your opponent drew uh, for like three turns, but it doesn't have that effect anymore. So, yeah. And uh, next card we got Exchange of the Spear, which this card was a big OTK card. I actually made a, um, a Dueling Network video about the FTK involved with this card. Uh, didn't really... The thing is, I, I, yeah, I made that video. It was going to be a Dueling Network episode. I never put it up, though. 
because like it was just a dramatic fail. I, um, I never, I never got that. O I didn't get that OTK off in that video, so I thought like, what was the point? And um, you might be thinking though, dude, why is this card coming back? It is um very OP. It cost FTKs for days, man. Um, well, this like the other cards that we've gone over, also got Narada. So now it reads, if both players have 15 or more cards in their graveyards. It used to be if you have 15 or more cards, but they changed it, so if both players had have 15 or more cards, so that you can't deck your opponent out. Because the thing you could do with Exchange of Spirit was, um, you could get a bunch of cards in your graveyard, you could flip this on your opponent's turn, they send all cards from their deck to the graveyard, and then they don't put any cards from their graveyard into their deck, because they don't, they don't have any, um cards in their graveyard to actually swap. Like, the card can still resolve if your opponent has no cards in their graveyard. Or it could still resolve if your opponent had no cards in their graveyard. But, um, that was too OP. It only required you to have cards in your graveyard. Which is why that worked. And it, why it could still resolve. But, now it's if both players have 15 or more cards in the graveyard. Um, you pay a thousand life points, and then each player swaps the cards in their graveyard with the cards in their deck, then shuffles the deck, and you can only activate one per duel, not even per turn, just per duel. So yeah, it's kind of a thing with that. Honestly, I see this card going to three with its new errata. So yeah, I can't. You can't FTK with this card anymore, just because your opponent also has to have cards in their graveyard. So yeah, that's the deal with that, and then. Uh, we also got Ring Destruction, which was, you guessed it, another one of the eroded band cards. So, it used to be, Ring Destruction used to be able to target any monster, your opponent, uh, any monster on the field, and then it got destroyed and then both t players would take um, damage equal to its attack. But now it reads, during your opponent's turn, target one face of monster your opponent controls, whose attack is less than or equal to their life points, your opponent's life points, they mean. So, like, say your my opponent has, like, CD on their field or something. This is just an example. And, like, they have 2,800 life points. I can't activate this card if CD is the only monster they control because it has to be less than or equal to their life points because, um, you know, they don't want you to, like, do a, a ridiculous, uncontrollable amount of damage with this card. And, um, yeah, it destroys that face of monster. And if you do, take damage equal to its original attack, then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the damage you took. I'm not sure why they changed it so that um, you, both players don't take damage simultaneously. I'm not really sure the the, mean, the mentality behind that. Because, like, you might be thinking, oh, because, like, your, if your life points go to zero, then your opponents won't know when the game. No, that's not that's not true. That's not a thing. The thing is, guys, card effects cannot. Um, uh, the basically the thing with um, card effects is that they card effects will go. Th the duel will will not end if a card effect still has to like do. If like a card still has to do stuff, that's why you can attack your opponent like. That's why you can use, like, Berserker Soul to inflict damage to your opponent even if they have zero life points. You can keep excavating and attacking them, like, over and over again, like you, like Yugi did in the show. So that's the deal with that. So, yeah, that's not possible. So, yeah. Also, you can only activate one per turn. So, yeah. And that's the deal. Oh, also... Next card, skill drain is limited because you know Kalees are abuse or abuse or actually no, they are abusing that card. Jeez, and the card's just so dumb in the deck. So yeah, and then Vanity's emptiness is limited because you know locking your opponent out of the game isn't really that healthy. I mean, it can balance out the game in some in some instances, but I don't know. I kind of don't like this card being hit, but. I think it's for the good of the cause, essentially. Anyway, for semi-limited cards, we got Cleefort Scout at 2. That's good, because, like, Cleefort Scout to 1 kills the deck, but, like, um, if you don't hit it at all, you know, Cleefort can, like, just wreck everything. So, yeah. Um, so, that that's all I really have to say about that card. I think Cleefort Scout to 2 was a good move. 
because like you're still hitting Klee's a little more. Also, that's why I was saying like Klee's can't um, set up like an OP board all the time anymore because you know they have one vanity, one skill drain, one sacrifice, and two scout. So let's kind of deal with that. And then we got Necros of Bri Necros of Brianak. Um, is also semi limited. Funny thing is, when I saw this limited, I thought, um, or oh, semi limited, I thought to put Necros of Trishula to two and not Brianak. And I was like, dude, why would you semi limit Trishula? It doesn't make sense. But then I looked at it again and like, oh, it was Brianak. Shit. So yeah, I also object to this being semi limited personally, just because I like Necros, but I know a lot of people don't. So yeah, they also put Shien to two. Which is good because six hands are irrelevant. Charge the light brigade to two. Honestly, uh, I'm against this because I hate light swarms. The deck can go die, honestly. However, they did put those dragon rulers to um, they did put the dragon rulers to zero. So no more um, light swarm rulers, which is awesome. Um, so yeah. Also, sacred swords seven stars to two because dragon rulers, they're 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 banned. So yeah. Uh, then for the unlimited cards, we got Brotherhood of Fire for Spirit, because Fire Fists aren't, because 3 axis uh, slash 3.5 axis Fists aren't doing jack shit. Um, they, they unlimited all the, uh, Baby Dragon Rulers, so Burner, uh, Lightning, Recton, and Stream, they're all the three, they're all going to three, because if the, if the daddies, essentially, are at, um, zero, these cards aren't going to do jack shit. So, yeah. And then uh, we got Gladiator Beast Bestiality at 3, which is something people have wanted for a long time, and people finally got their wish, so not really much to say about that. Gore's the Emissary of Darkness. Uh, people really won't run 3 of this card. If you do, then don't do that, because it's not a smart plan. Lone Fire Blossom to 3. This is probably to um, push Sylvans, because they... Because, um... O the OCG got a couple of um, decent plant cards that um, could really do some work in Sylvans, so yeah. That's probably to push Sylvans a little further. And then Goyle Guardian to 3, because no one would run 3 of this trash. I mean, Goyle Guardian's okay, he's just not that OP anymore. Now, Hyrax Seal Convocation to 3, because... You know, Hyrax really aren't doing jack shit. So, yeah. That's the deal with, um, that. But, by the way, if people start running Hyrax again just because it's going at 3, like, screw you, man. They, 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 if you run Hyrax again, like, and they see lots of play, I guarantee you Konami's going to be like, oh, we, we made a bad move, guys. We have to hit this card again. Well, hopefully, if Hyrax do see a lot of play again, they don't do that. And they don't hit this card again. Put it back to 2, you know. Because that would be a dumb move. But anyways, guys, that is the ban list. Um, honestly, I think they should have unbanned that thousand strict. Put him to one. He's not gonna do anything. Just test it. But, anyways, um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the ban list. Let me know what your thoughts are about this, guys. Um, I think I forgot to say some stuff, but that's okay. My computer's running at low on battery, so yeah. See you guys next time.